This is Josh Sharp, JTH Boxing. Today I'm here at the Steel City Gym in Sheffield and I'm joined by Ebony Jones. Ebony, first of all, how are we doing today? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Week till I fight. So let's talk about your fight coming up. Uh, how's training camp gone first of all? So you're here at this gym, there's a lot of good people around you, you know, there's a lot of good people to learn off. How has training camp gone for you? Yeah, it's gone really well. Obviously, uh, training twice a day. Um, as it's got towards the end of the camp, I'm feeling nice and sharp. Obviously, looking at the next fight date, um, what are you looking for in this next fight? So you're five fights into your professional career now. What are you looking to show the people in your next fight? Just everything I've been doing in the gym, really. Um, everyone in my previous fights, have sort of before I come to this gym, have sort of seen an aggressive fighter, uh, but um, I can box as well and just sort of show a different side to me. So you're trying to show a bit more of a calculated performance now in life, showing that you're two steps ahead of your opponent rather than just looking for a bit of a scrap? Yeah, exactly. More composed and um, sort of showing my technical ability. Obviously, I want to talk about this gym as a whole. Obviously, a lot of people have fight dates coming up in this gym. Does it make it a little bit easier to train? Obviously, when everyone else has got a fight date, everyone's in the gym, everyone's training. Does it make it a little bit easier to prepare for a fight? Yeah, 100%, and, and boxing can be a lonely sport, but everyone in this gym, we've all got the same goal. Um, everyone's at a high level. It's not just people coming in here like, to keep fit. Like it's You're around other fighters uh, doing the same thing. So, yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier. One of the fighters in the gym who is probably one of the most talked about fighters in Britain at the moment, Sonny Edwards, he is just, what, about seven weeks out from his big fight in the States? Obviously, it's something new for him as well, something new for the gym. It's a fight, a headline in the States. We've not really seen that before with Sonny. Um, as a gym, how buzzing is the gym to see a big fight like this for Sonny? Obviously, it's something he's been calling for for a long time now, isn't it? Yeah, really excited. Uh, obviously, he deserves it. and He's a big character and obviously... Um, I look, I look up to Sonny, like sort of the way he puts himself across, and he just says what he thinks. But I think that is that is a good thing. And um, yeah, obviously I'd love to go over there and watch it, but I don't know if I'll get the time off work. I mean, you never know. You never, you never, you might light up the crowd that much next week that you might sign a big deal, yeah. be able to get a little bit of time off work. Um, obviously, Janae's on the card as well. It's always good to see a young prospect from the UK get an opportunity abroad as well. Um, it's just a new place to show, isn't it? It's a new place to show his skills to people, isn't it? It'll grow, it'll only grow, won't it? Yeah, and obviously, like I said, I uh, look up to the other fighters like Janaid and Sonny, and obviously that's where I'd want to be one day. And obviously, ahead of next week, um, how how many people have you got coming out for you? I'm sure you'll have a good crowd, a noisy crowd. Um, and you just want to entertain them as well, didn't they? As well as making sure you win safely, you want to entertain as well, don't you? Yeah, obviously, I know it's a bit of a hard time of year for people to be getting tickets. It's coming towards Christmas and stuff, but I appreciate everyone who's got a ticket and even a lot of people in the gym and the people in Sheffield are coming down to Brighton as well as from Portsmouth. So, yeah, just grateful for that. And what is it like to get an opportunity on a televised show like one in Brighton next week? Obviously, it's quite a big show. It's quite. It says, it's being talked about a lot more this week, especially since Harlem Newbank has announced that he's now got uh, his uncle, Chris Ewing Senior, managing him. Yeah. I'm sure it'll put a lot more eyes on the show and it means there'll only be more people watching you, won't there? Yeah, I think it's a good opportunity to get my name out there. Um, obviously, my last fight was a small hall show, so it's nice to sort of be on a, a big show this time around. Well, Ebony, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck next Friday in Brighton. Thank you.